Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look back, way back, to the arcade scene where I spent most of my quarters when I was a young kid just getting into video gaming. I really had my fair share of quarters spent in the local arcade and of course, the most money I've ever spent was probably Street Fighter 2. We are going to look at even before that when games we're not that popular yet in the fighting genre. We're going to talk about my top five arcade games that sucked all my money away when I was a mere child that I loved before Street Fighter 2. <laughs> Road Blasters was developed and released by Atari Games in 1987 and is part of the games like Pac-Man that just doesn't ever end. The point of the game is to drive from one section to the other shooting anything in your path just to get to the finish line. You have fuel that you need to be aware of because if you run out it's game over. Each level pass gets harder and harder with more and more obstacles in your way. My uncle and I played this game forever, never beating it and just going for the high score. Definitely one that ate many, many of my quarters. Afterburner was developed by Sega AM2 and released by Sega in 1987 by famed designer Yu Suzuki. This flight game grabbed my attention quickly with the recently released film at that time, Top Gun, in 1996 with Tom Cruise. One of my all-time favorite flight games that is so similar to Space Harrier in every way, I spent my allowance trying to beat this game to no avail. Of course, realizing how long the game is after I got older, I knew I never really had a chance. Just another smart money-making scheme to grab quarters that absolutely worked. Thanks, Sega. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the arcade game was developed and released by the once great gaming company Konami in 1989. As a huge turtle fan this game made it look like you were playing the actual cartoon at the time and it looked like it was pretty much advanced technology. I literally would spend my time in the arcade playing with three others trying to beat Shredder at the end. This is my first beat em up that employed four players at once with the turtles to choose from. An absolute blast left me wanting to play this game more instead of just riding roller coasters at the local amusement parks.
Mercs was developed and released by Capcom in 1990. This shooter became one of my favorite action games of all time because it was so different. The screen was so skinny than your average 4-3 ratio, but it had fantastic running gun mechanics, big explosions, 3-player co-op, and fantastic music. I love this game so much that it was the first game I ever lined up for at Software Etc., a game store that is now GameStop when they bought them out later on, waiting to open on release day just to pick up for my Sega Genesis. My parents were so happy I stopped spending so much money in the arcade and I was happy I was playing this game at home. X-Men, the arcade game, was developed and released by Konami in 1992. After their beat-em-up hits came my absolute four-player favorite co-op action game of all time. X-Men was so much fun with so many different X-Men to pick from and four players to play at once as well. The visual style from the fantastic episode Pride of the X-Men that was released in 1989 was used for the game. Such a fantastic game from beginning to end as I was still and am still a huge X-Men fanatic. Just like Turtles before it, the game just ran smoother with more responsive controls and fantastic use of their superpowers with Nightcrawler and Dazzler being the best. Shockingly, I preferred to be Wolverine just like everyone else, but with 4 player co-op action, I actually just spent money just to beat the game quarter after quarter. That's it for me on this special episode on the very old memories of my favorite arcade games. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. Damn.